There you go. Is this, is this, are we there? Yeah. Hi, y'all. Uh, welcome back to The Wedding Game, Chapter 35. We are so, so, so excited to have two of our compadres back. Um, you look a little dark, but I see uh, Justin Carrington. We call him JC. JC in the house. That means Hello, that means. JC. And we got Brian Thomas from the West Coast. Hello, sir. <laughs> and then now we got What's underneath going on? is Tanya. Then we got Cherie. Then we got Maggie. She on vacation in Florida. Hey, y'all. Let me put y'all business out there, but they, they away. <laughs> so uh, we're going to talk about some certain things. We wanted some male perspectives. We thank you guys for joining in with us again. Um, you should have watched the last show to know what we were talking about today. But go ahead and tell them what we're talking about, Tanya. Okay, fellas, I just want to welcome you guys back again. It's been a pleasure to have you back this season. Um, <laughs> what we want to ask you is, on our last show, we talked about race and how that looks um, in your dating life. Would you, mm -hmm. or what does it look like Mm -hmm. for a black man both of you guys are black men to date outside of your race have you ever done that or um answer both of have you ever done it would you do it and are you okay with other black men or other women for that being said dating outside of their race if you were to see them in public so who would like to grab the reins and go ahead, add it? Go ahead, JC. Go ahead and give your, <laughs> go ahead and give your gentrified answer. All right, cool. So um, for me, uh -huh. I'm going to say no. Um, I, <laughs> I like I like my, um, my Nubian queens, as it were. Okay. So it's like... I, it's just something I can't do. Like I have plenty of friends that are of opposite races and nationalities and that kind of thing, but I just can't date one. Um, just because of like experiences, backgrounds, um, understanding of the culture and understanding of perspective of life, um, it's just not for me. Now, um, I don't judge anybody else for whom they date or who they go out with or whom they choose to date. Um, as long as they're being treated right. So it doesn't bother me when I see interracial couples, either way it goes, be it black man, white women, or black woman, white man. Um, there used to be a little bit of ignorance within me that says, well, um, well, dang, how much, how wrong did we do for her to go on that side? Or how much wrong did he, did, did the girls do him for him to go over to that side? Like that used to be my ignorant way of thinking, um, uh, in younger days, but at this point in my life, it's like, as long as you're happy, um, whatever it may be. So that's where I'm at with it. I don't judge in, in what anyone's doing unless they're just being mistreated. So that's all I got. Okay. okay. So in the near future, you wouldn't see yourself ever dating outside of your race. Okay. Can't, can't do it. Um, okay. If I did, it would have to be a minority, um, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't be black and white. Okay. It would be maybe uh, Latina or I don't know Cuban or something like that, Puerto Rican. I don't know, but <laughs> like I, I, that's like Indian, Asian, none of that. Yeah, maybe, but like it's gonna be like a ninety-nine percent chance of a no. Okay. For um, me. But stop right there for a second. Um, I have a question, uh, JC. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, so do you think what, what makes the difference in black and white and black in any other race? Is it why no to the, to the, to the Caucasian, but maybe to the others, is it because you feel like they don't know the struggle or you just don't like that? Or you don't probably, a, probably because they don't know the struggle and like minorities have the, the path of a minority life is one of struggle, one of understanding like certain microaggressions from the outer world and like how hard it is just to make it to the next moment per se sometimes in life okay so, yeah fair enough thank you so can i ask a quick question follow up to that yes so you said from their 
path in life, but do you think sometimes other races assimilate into white culture easy more easily? So then sometimes they have not seen that struggle? Mm. Correct. And I totally agree with that. However, mm -hmm. um, I guess when you get to know someone, you know what they've been through, and then that gets you to choose whether or not you're going to carry on with that person. Okay. So, but for, for me, it starts. For me, it starts off black, and I'll just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> it just starts. Mm -hmm. Oh, you never. Let me ask you this though. But you, so you never have. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're not attracted to? Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I just need to know. Like, I'm like, so you are saying that you wouldn't now, or you never have, or you did? Okay. So, okay. Next up, sir. Brian. Hmm. You already know. Really want to ask you. <laughs> so what you want to do? Y'all really want to we want, hey, the truth, really want Brian. We yeah. want the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Have I considered it? Yes, I have. And that's only because huh. of my upbringing. I grew up around different cultures. I grew up when I was first, you know, first eight, nine years of my life, I was around the others. So I got acclimated to their way of communication. Now, when I moved to DeKalb County, mm -hmm. old DeKalb County, <laughs> yes, DeKalb. I got acclimated to the colored folk. <laughs> now, would I consider it? Yes, only because my experiences say differently. You know, life is all about adjusting to new settings, adjusting to new people, learning how to communicate with people who are not from your same element, which allows you to truly understand and become more diversified. Now, is that something that I'm going to say, oh, you should go outside? No, that's your personal choice. However, it's not something that you can knock because you never know what you will learn from another culture. Now, I know the current climate of what's going on in our country. I know all that. But the way I view it is like this. In order for you to really know, you got to experience it for yourself. You know, you can't go by the, you can't go by the narrative. You can't go by uh, the what's being, you know, displayed in society. You got to know things for yourself because a lot of times there are people who are on the other side that have absolutely nothing to do with a few bad apples. A few bad apples in this particular point of view don't necessarily spoil because when we're talking about love, we're talking about a commitment, which means that a commitment has no color. It only has an action and it only relates to what that person has socialized and learned and what they do. So a person can be, you know, within our same color and still be trifling. A person can be outside of our color and still be trifling. Trifling is trifling, whether white trifling, right. Mexican trifling, Chinese trifling, black trifling, uh, whatever culture, trifling is trifling. Or, you know, not responsible is what it is. It goes all across the board. So being able to bring that into, you know, as far as dating and relationships, I think that, you know, for me, it's, it's okay, you know, just understand that both people understand the culture and where they came from and they understand. And as a respect factor, I think that it can work. Now, if there's an assumption, it'll never work because I cannot assume that just because I've gone through these particular things, you can't understand. Well, I haven't given you a passageway to really understand. Most people don't understand you simply because they have not been put in a position to understand. Now, if they choose not to understand after you've explained yourself, that's a whole nother thing. But at least give an individual a opportunity to understand where you're coming from because two cultures coming together can actually be a beautiful thing. That's what I'll say about that. Would you marry them? Now dating yeah. and marrying is two different things. I definitely Maybe not would. to some I, people, but would you marry them? Yeah. I would, I would definitely marry outside my race. Okay. So you you feel like right now you're ready to, you feel like right now where you are, you would be able to handle what comes along with dating outside of your race? Right. 
you, like you feel like yeah. now the being in the yeah, relationship be but it. with the pressures from the outside you would be okay um with what that entails yeah i mean because for me my life the way that I think has always been outside of the box. Like I've always thought outside of the box. I've always thought, you know, much different. So for me, my approach to everything is going to always be much different. Like I look at the things from a more broader point of view as, a, as opposed to just being within one, you know, element. You know, if you think inside the element, you will miss out on the fruitfulness that life brings. So I've sat down and I've had conversations with different people of different women of different cultures that have, you know, had an affinity towards me. And it's not because of, you know, me being black or anything like that. It's because as a person, I was able to understand them at levels that not too many people were able to understand them at. So have you dated? I know you mentioned you would, and you're definitely open from your experiences and your exposure and where you live. Have mm -hmm. you actually had a relationship with someone of a different race? And how was that experience? I came close to it, but I have to say no. I considered it, but it did it didn't happen. I was in my younger years, so it okay. was going to happen, but it didn't. We just we just were two two different two different personalities that just could not coexist in the same space. Okay. Hmm. All right. So if you had a preference, what would it be? Perfect. Preference? Yeah. I, I gotta I, I gotta go with the sisters. I gotta go with the sisters because you know God <laughs> just took God just took that God just took that the the the, the word curves that he just made the sisters in such a way to where you cannot ignore. So it's mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I, that 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 the sisters are always gonna have my heart. They, they always gonna have my heart. Okay. Yeah, because I have a question. So, yeah. <clears throat> with your, have any of you had any friends that thought negatively against inter interracial dating? Like, how how did that conversation go? If you had to have that conversation, and would you have that conversation with your peers? Um, for me, uh, I don't have any friends that I know of <laughs> that will openly admit to having any issues in interracial um, dating or, or marriages because, for one, my one of my main friend groups from college, especially from college, um, two of them have uh, wives who are outside of the Black race. Hmm. So um, hmm. one being, I want to get it wrong, um, I'll just say Asian. Um, just to be just to be politically correct, one Asian and the other one white, and so they're like the best people, and like they're happy. I'm happy for them. Um, I'm happy. Like it's it's not a problem. Have you ever met a man that said he wouldn't date black women because of what he went through? Like, oh nah, I ain't finna date. I ain't. I cannot deal with black women they no more. That, that, that they complain. Yeah. Have you ever had a man like that? I mean. Someone, that you of or somebody that said that that was just like I am just done with black women. Someone very close to me because I won't put that person out there. Okay. Um, so it's they okay. know that I'm saying they know that I'm single and they started dating, um, let's say someone in the West Indian area. So mm -hmm. this is Dominican, Cuban, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so he was trying to hook me up with one of the Dominican, Cuban, whatever friends. And his um, sales pitch for doing so was, man, because uh, these black girls uh, got too much attitude and and uh, they they didn't get worried about them bothering you and nagging you all the time. Like, hmm. okay. Um, okay. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I like where I'm at. I'm going to stay where I'm at. But the Caribbean, I just want to put this out there, you know, and this is not, this is stereotypical. This is not to say anything by anybody. Caribbean ladies will, they get to it too. Okay. They just as, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah, just yeah. as they say black women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, I, they can be the same. Yeah. Go upside your head, whatever you feel, black women, they will do the exact same yeah. thing. Well, yeah. I 
See, that's all women. White women too. That is. I'm gonna say yeah, because even Italian women are like that as well. Everybody. They, Everybody, exactly. They, they, yeah. That's what I'm like. Uh, well, okay. Just well, like we said, it was trifling black and trifling white and trifling all types of men. It's look, women got attitudes. Look, we don't go in. <laughs> right. You know. Sometimes well, yeah. it's not an attitude. Sometimes it's not an attitude. Sometimes it's a it's a way of them trying to get that man to level up. That's a quote that I heard. Sometimes it's them mm -hmm. desperately trying to get that man to level up and to really understand mm -hmm. that he needs to communicate a little bit more clear. Mm -hmm. That sometimes it's a need for communication. Sometimes well, communication is not clear. <laughs> Would y'all have an issue? Well, I guess this is more for, uh, cause Brian is okay with anybody, you know, whatever. Just JC, excuse me. Yeah. Would you be okay if you saw a sister dating outside her race? Yeah, if she was happy. Like I, like I no longer walk by interracial couples and be like, ill or okay? I don't see how, I don't see why that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like that's no longer no, anywhere in me. Like my, my pretty much my, my model for anybody in a relationship is. Well, I ain't got to kiss him in the mouth. So if you happy, I'm happy. Like that ain't my job. Like if you happy, I'm happy with it. And that's like, that's where really where, where I am on it, so. Okay, well, that's very fair. I mean, you guys seem to be uh, pretty much the different side of what we normally hear. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just put it that way. Uh, cause I, I, I mean, you guys are very, what, what should I say about you two men? This is, this is nothing but a compliment. Let me just say that. Let me get, get, get ready. Get ready. <laughs> this, <laughs> okay. This is a compliment that you guys think, uh, outside of the box, if you will, with you've already been through things that'll say, okay, I love where I come from where I come from and you guys realize that your mama is a Negro. So therefore, uh, if you were to despise or talk bad about black women, you'd be talking about your mama. So Ooh, that's a, that's a different, um, that that's a whole different category. That's a whole nother two hour conversation. Uh, well, that mean, uh, that that's that what your mama, your auntie them is, you know what I'm just that's, saying. That's like the state of, that's like the whole state of the black man conversation. And I, I have a, I, that's, I can, we, never mind. Keep, go ahead. I'm, I'm no, 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 Speak on it. Speak because on we, it. we, we constantly, we constantly do dumb stuff and expect okay. it to be forgiven for it. Mm -hmm. And we constantly push the most ignorant 1% of us to the forefront and, and promote them as, as role models and mm. things to aspire to be and status symbols okay. like and 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 we get entertained by trifling actions we are entertained by petty actions we are entertained ignorance is our entertainment mm. wow and so that that Okay. Mm, I'm, I'm a, okay. Go ahead. What you say, Brian? You said you said something. <laughs> you said you go say something else. Go ahead. I'm I'm uh, just listening. I'm just listening. Take it. I'm just listening. Take it. Um, yeah. uh, like, I'm, a, this. I'm a teacher, and so that like you know I'm an educator, so that like to see every year new ignorance come in to where I gotta de right. I gotta reprogram some minds. I gotta change some some perspectives. I gotta right. like that's the kind of person I am in the classroom. Like. Yeah, like yeah. So I just try well, to. You know what? I'm gonna ask you guys something that has nothing to do with race, but since we on it, I'm I was gonna say it anyway. Um, why is it so difficult to find males, men? We're asking the men. Why is it so difficult to find males to be open and have these kind of conversations on this type of flat platform? Why? Do well. You think so? mm -hmm. Well. Because I think that a lot of men 
mm-hmm. um, do not have an avenue to be able to express themselves clearly. And the mm-hmm. stigma is that a man is supposed to be this provider, he's supposed to build, he's supposed to have this vision and he doesn't necessarily need to have to say much or they use the um, they, they use the thing of saying that well men, they don't speak that many words um, every day. You got women that speak, you know, what they say 25,000, you got men that speak, you know, between 10 and, 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 and 12,500. However, in order for a man to really understand his purpose, he has to open his mouth, he has to communicate. And I think that when a man knows his purpose, he's okay with speaking because he's assured of himself. But when he's not sure of himself, then he's gonna be very, very careful because he doesn't have anything to hold his hat on. So a man has to first know who he is. If a man doesn't know who he is, two things are gonna happen. Number one, he's either gonna run back to his mom to nurture him, Hmm. or two, he's going to find someone that seems to be stronger than him, whether the influence is bad or good, and he's gonna cling to that, and he's gonna follow the actions of those that may be outspoken, whether they're right or wrong. So a man's got to understand and know his purpose. When he understands and knows who he is, Hmm. then he understands that the words that are coming out of his mouth, they are meaningful and they have weight. But a lot of men don't know who they are. So the words that come out of their mouth, they're beginning to see, oh, I'm kind of I'm feeling myself a little bit. No, you don't understand what you're saying. What many men do is, and I had to get help with this. What we do is, as men, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say for all men, but there are many men that do this. What we do is that we learn how to communicate one way. I do for her because she's going to do for me. Not I'm going to do for her simply because it's my responsibility to hold up my part of the bargain as a man and to show that, number one, I am a man of my word. So I'm going to give you just enough to get you to believe, even though if I don't believe it. And then when it comes time to handle it, we don't. And then when you hold us accountable for that, you want to revert back to, well, I opened my mouth and I said something and now it's being used against me. No, we're not using it against you because you said something. It's being held against you because you didn't realize that what you were saying, somebody was actually watching. So if more men knew who they were, then we would have more men that would be open. But because men don't know who they are and they don't have a safe space to filter out all the bull crap that they're being fed, Okay. That's what you got that issue from. Let me ask you this. This off topic kind of too. Do you think a relationship is 50 50? Heck no. I think a relationship. Wow. Heck no. Do you think? Heck so no. you don't think a relationship. Oh, it was a shift. Yes, it was a shift. Yes. I mean, I, I mean, I'm just because you were saying men aren't ready that yeah, yeah, yeah. do this and do for that. But typically we hear men are supposed to be the leaders. So I'm I'm just curious to your mindset on in a relationship or relationships you've been mm-hmm. in. Do you fully believe mm-hmm. that? A woman should bring fifty percent. A male should bring fifty percent. What's what's your take on that? They both got to bring. They both got to bring a hundred percent. I can't. You know what I'm saying? That's like me coming and giving you half a box of pizza, and then you coming with your half a box of pizza. Your half a box of pizza is cold. My half a box of pizza is warm. Does that a complete pizza? No. If I'm gonna give it to you, something I'm gonna give you something. I need to give it to you complete, which means mm-hmm. that I need to bring intentionality. Intentionality is not 50-50. Intentionality is 100%. I have an intention and a purpose behind it. If I don't bring purpose, if I don't bring intentionality, then my 50% is never going to be enough. It has to be 100% all the time. So Mm -hmm. I'll... um... I'll disagree with that and I'll say I believe in 50-50, but here's how my 50-50 kind of works out. Okay. Um, Per task or per stumble or per hurdle or whatever you have in your relationship, 
Um, today it might be me to carry the load and you to do a little bit. Tomorrow might be you to carry the load and me to do a little bit. So I feel like at some point it kind of balances out to be 50-50. So hmm. I, pretty much as I got your back, you got my back. And sometimes I might, you might have to lean a little bit more on my side, or sometimes I may have to lean a little bit more on your side, but it kind of bounces itself out over time. So as long as we're both accountable for each other, we're in this thing together and make a, a, a conscious effort to, like Brian was saying, be intentional about what we're doing and, and how we do the things that we do and how we communicate and how we treat each other. Um, I totally believe it's like 50-50. Well, Tyler Perry said it's 80-20. But <laughs> <laughs> I know Tyler Perry said, "On oh, why did I get married?" He said the like, woman had a twenty. Eight twenty. I'm, I'm just being serious. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to tell you what Tyler Perry said on why did I get married? He said eighty twenty. It's going to be always I'm doing eighty. You if you if I'm doing eighty, you clearly going to be doing twenty. That ain't if what I do he eighty percent of the work. That ain't how you say it. That's how you said. I'm just being facetious. <laughs> I'm just being facetious. I get that. I know. Okay, people are chiming in on this chat. Please, trying to you, get in. Go ahead, read, read them. Read I them. Mean, it, what they read them. Um, first of all, from the Dominicans, they're Afro Latinas. Okay. That yes, they Ash are. Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Sorry. Sorry. And then uh, my trans said, "Not always, brother, but ignorance can be a distraction." Social. Mm. Mm. Yes, social, my trans. And then you got my girl, uh, LaShawn. She was a man to you, Brian. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Saying men like that is far and few in between. Um, as well as ju uh, just Justin. What? Yeah. Jay. 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 Not Jay. Oh, okay. Okay. Jay. Jay. In the building. Jay. Um, my is with you, JC. He said relationships are 50-50, but not when you place value on things. Um, hmm. LaShawn saying, hey, no, a relationship is 100% <laughs> on both ends. <laughs> you know, Jay with you, 50-50. But my trans said, I can't. Um, men need just as much as women need. Right, JC? We have to have each other back and keep each other in, in line and motivated. But he also said, Tyler Perry catering to his base for movies. He does. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Montrez, we know. <laughs> yes, I, I, I think that that was a tough question. The 50 50, right? That's a tough question it, because it's semantics, it depends on how you're looking at it. Because uh, if you looking at 50 is truly what 50% is, which is half of a whole, if you're looking at it that way, then that's no good. Of course, you shouldn't be. I'm bringing half of myself to a relationship, I don't think that, but. Uh, I, I see what you're saying. I don't know. That's that's a very tough question to me. Even though you should be whole when you're dating somebody, you should not be 50 nothing. Um, no, because even like I said, 80-20, I just went, it's not 80-20. It's not 80-20. Especially <laughs> even though we've been dating, I'm gonna be honest with you, I dated 80-20. Okay. Where I'm 80 and he's giving 20. We're just Dang. being honest. Dang. But I, but they're gone. So this is, why, yeah, this is why the show was yeah. yep, this is why the show was created. Uh-huh. Waiting. You're holding the relationship. I mean, and that could go um, well, this probably this will be a that that should be the whole of the show. You uh, already know. When 50-50 financially. Oh which, mm. okay. Mm. You know, Coming to uh, the yeah, that's another show. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. But, we can say but, what but, for another show. Um, but we have to come back to what we were talking about last week because right. we said we wanted to hear the male's perspective. So we talked about last week about dating and transition, which we did that last, but we didn't do it live. Live is a different audience. So when we were talking about dating and transition, we went around the room last time and I said, hell to the no. Uh, rest in peace, Whitney, because <laughs> she used to always say that. Hell to the no. And I, 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 I don't believe in it, but that's just me. Um, I feel like dating and transition, as Tanya always says, you're not ready to date. Mm -hmm. You're not ready to date. Uh, so guys, what do you believe with dating and transition? Have you done it? Will you do it? Is it okay if you're in transition and she's not? Is, you know, and we're not talking about when you're together and you're married. Of course, there are going to be times where you might lose your job and I got to carry you. We're not talking about that. We talking about in the beginning stages of dating and you're in transition. Should you date or no? We say transition, like, what do you mean? 
like you like, got okay. situations going on. Like on now. I have no job right now. Should you Come be now. online dating? Okay. Online dating when you You're living when you with somebody. You live with your house. Would you be dating? Is that okay? Because clearly you in transition to try to get your own. You don't have no car. Man, I'm deactivating every dating pro. I'm de I'm deactivating every dating profile. I'm cutting my <laughs> beard. I'm getting lost. I mean, ain't no nobody gonna find me there. That's oh. what I'm saying. We're not about oh. to do that. But there are men who are doing there that dating with no, no job, no stability and they just want the comfort of another woman so i'm i'm trying to say is that okay i mean what is it about are you okay? that thinks it's okay because there uh -huh. are some who are <laughs> there's some i mean because i'm sure y'all know some fellas out there and you know good and well they ain't ready to be in no relationship and they out there dating Right. Well, so, it's chilly outside, so you know it's a little tough in Okay, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. Just I think as a man, it is a lot different and more. Not more. That don't sound right. It's easier to date and transition as a man as it is for a woman. Um, and I say that for me because, um, I do see myself the male being the provider and the kind of take care of the person. Yeah. Um. And so if you're in transition, it's my job to have your back. Are you talking about a woman being in transition? Oh uh, yeah, I'm talking about the woman being in transition, yes. Oh, okay. okay. Right, because so, you said man, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, wait a minute. Like that. Oh, wait. So, <laughs> so no, like, it's, it's easier for a man <laughs> to date a woman in transition because as a man, you're supposed to lead and kind of hold down the fort. And so, but not be a fool, right? So um, if you are into me, and you are in transition, as long as you are 100% on this ride with me, then life will be good and we'll work out whatever. But some people in transition are just looking for certain things such as a warm body or a free meal or cash at me, blah, 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 <laughs> um, or that kind of thing. And so that transition will not go down. That transaction of transitionalism will not be a part of my life. Um, so you're saying that's that distraction, right? Because people that are in transition mm -hmm. need a distraction. Basically, like mm -hmm. ignorance was that distraction. Yes. So that's what my said. That's what my trans said. That's what he said. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. I would I would date someone in transition. Um, I wouldn't disagree with that. I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tell y'all now. I tried it. I went down in flames. <laughs> I was, oh! I went down in I went down in other I went down in other flames. I said nope, not doing it. Understood. Oh, I got a question for you men too. Boom. Somebody told me that he would not move in with a woman if, like, he would not move in with a woman because at any chance the woman will kick you out and say, "Hey, this my house. Get out." <laughs> now, do, do you think? Do you think that there is some truth to that? Like a woman will be like, it your is. name ain't on no bills, get on up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Next question. It is. Next question. Is. No, I I know. This, no this guy told me that. And I said, oh, really? Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know the women, they might be like, get get your feet, get out of here. Yes. So, oh, okay. I just want yeah. to get really? that's 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 that, that, that but isn't that, that the same for a woman? Like you can kick a woman out just as easily as a woman can kick, kick a man out, right? They're not doing no, that. Man. A, man, a man will kick a woman out for cheating. A man Correct. will kick a woman out because she's doing that and she ain't got no goals. Right. Like if you ain't got it's no goals, favorite, you got if it's I'll, I'll let you stay in the house. Oh, uh, you just saying a woman will just kick you out. Just a woman can you take off half of the favorite show? You got to go, son. Yeah. You, you come home every day to a man on the PlayStation. Oh, you got to go. <laughs> see, well, I mean, see how quick she said that? Next question. What? No. Next question. If the PlayStation is cool, but if that's become your job, and if I'm out doing what I got to do from nine to five, and you expect me to come cook, and you ain't, but you ain't hit playing on the PlayStation, you know, 2K or whatever, the, you know, which I like playing too, but it's time and effort to the relationship. That's all I'm saying. We can play games, but all day you in the same spot. 
Well, uh, that I left you. Oh, okay, I just want right. to. Right. We got some more comments in the chat. We got Ashley said, "Why wouldn't your name be on the bills?" Also, so I guess she's saying, oh, wow. "Male or female, y'all's names need to be on the bills." And then my trust said, it's true to it, but if you pay bills and know the law, you have a little power left now. The law. Oh, <laughs> but I, would, so I wouldn't recommend I'm doing so as a man. I'm, well, I'm just life. not going to do it. Like, I'm not South Carolina, in. six months is a common law marriage or something like that? Or is that Louisiana? Six months. You know they stopped doing that now. They stopped, and doing, they stopped doing that in some places. Okay. <clears throat> no common law. Okay. But it, it, I think it's still alive in Georgia. I hope not. And you know, in DC, it's something that they don't do. Uh, something where I'm like, oh, what? But are they actually considered married for real, for real? Like they can, their names can be on stuff, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, what? You ain't married, Tom. Okay. I just yeah. want to know. Um, oh, wait. Ashley said that um, that whole it transition about living with my ex. Um, <laughs> you're not single, sir. So you should not be dating. Cause if you gotta look at you, if 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 I might like want to do a drive by, um, which I haven't done a drive by in a very long time, and I'm not gonna do it. My drive by now would be for love, like oh, I just want to drive, you know, your favorite meal. I'm just gonna get you something to eat. I would do that, that kind of drive by. But you I better, call, for, like, you better call for What's you better call first. Call by? first. Brian, you you gotta right. send a text. Send a text. Don't, don't do my drive by. Okay, whatever. Okay, sir. That's okay. fair, but that's the same goes for you too. You this, this, as long as we playing the, fact, the the field the same, uh, you can't be driving by either. Now I don't Are you drive by in a relationship or just oh, you ain't gotta worry okay, about me driving by. Right. See, you ain't gotta worry about me driving by. I'm gonna know you so well and I'm gonna know what you like so well that you ain't even gonna be able to expect it. I won't be I'm gonna be better than the mailman come to your house. See, oh, see, that's a truck. That's how I'm gonna be. Mm -hmm. But a drive by, that's a good drive by. That's what I mean. I want a good drive by. I'm not going to do the drive by like, oh, you said you were such and such. Where you at? Boom, boom, boom. I would never do that. <laughs> that, that, be, that means that you should not be dating. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't do that. That's what you're dating. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So these comments are excellent. Um, everybody's saying great things. Uh, <laughs> Some oh Ashley's laughing at what we're saying. So let me ask you guys this too. So you basically said that that guy's correct that you know he would never live with a woman because a woman would be quick to put you out. Okay, that's fair. But and unfortunately, stereotypically, we y'all wouldn't throw us out. So it's cool. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been with somebody? Boom. Have you ever been with someone? And you let them get away with murder just because you're like, Dag, I just love this person. I'm just so in love. Da, da, da. Okay. Guys, I want to hear from you guys. Do you, have you ever let them? Just be no. honest. No. My mama. <laughs> then my mama. A my, few. Exactly. My mama. Well, my mama wait. <laughs> well, well, little did you know that things are going on. So, okay. Good. You had, So you wouldn't. You would never do that. Um, I know as a woman, I would, I have before. Let them get a get away with murder. Not now. It was in my young days. Mm. My young days not now. So um, okay. So we talked about race. We talked about transition. How you both agree? Please, you know, tell me if it's wrong. But you both agree that dating and transition is not for y'all. You wouldn't do it, right? I would. What? I would. <laughs> I explain, but I explain why I would. No, no, you, you in transition, not her. Uh, me being in transition, yes, no. You. I, if I'm in transition, no, I'm sitting my behind down like Brian was saying. I'm saying all this said, uh -uh. I'm going in the hide. I'm wearing a hoodie everywhere I go. Brian what? said he hide it. He ain't hide it. Yeah, I'm gonna do like Brian. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what Brian doing on transition. I'm gonna go in and go in hide and save some money. Uh, right. I just want to know. Okay, so uh, next time, next time we have this discussion, which we will. Um, is there anything else you guys want to leave the viewers? Uh, <laughs> anything else that you guys want to say? We said that you guys are okay with interracial dating. You're okay with other people dating uh, races. You okay with that? Because that ain't your business. Cool. Um, are y'all still single? Say that again. Are y'all still single, man, fellas? Yeah. Brian. Wait, oh. no, hold on. <laughs> what? Brian. Oh, so I'm now here. you stuck. I'm here. Oh, you so still now you stuck. I'm here. 
You still single? Uh, yeah, and I plan on being for all of 2021. I'm about to enjoy it. I'm about listen. You don't understand where I am. I'm on the West Coast. I am in L.A. You hear me? What? I'm in L.A. Too. What that mean? He about to wild out. Yep, that's exactly what that mean. Okay. Right? Oh, you saying all that? Living that thing. Okay. You say you got to live. I ain't finna enjoy it. Right there. You single and ready to mingle. I don't know about all that. Uh uh. Uh uh. Go look at the tax. Go look at the taxes in California. Ain't nobody finna mingle no time soon. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, you know, it's. Oh, shoot. We're done today. We're done with our discussion, but. We're going to be talking about would you be willing to date outside where you live? Would you move to go date somewhere else? Just real quick. You know, like, would you go to like Texas? Because, you know, uh, Ready to Love, that show is excellent. Uh, Ready to Love is now in Houston. So would you move somewhere else to find love? We're just going to go say yes or no. Brian, uh, Brian. Yeah, you at the bottom. Brian, went yes down no. fl- Went down in flames first time I did it, so no. <laughs> okay, Tanya. Not okay. Time. Okay. So Maggie, if he was given a ring and we were already together, okay. she said to find okay. love, Maggie. Right. Yes. To find, find love. Not to find it. Not to find nobody. Would you move to find love? To find love. Okay. No. Okay. Sheree. Nope. Okay. And JC. Um, just Metro Atlanta in the Atlanta area. That's it. <laughs> OTP, ITP. Okay, okay, great. So so now, next time we meet, we're going to be talking about dating and finances. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, right. So I'm sure we're going to talk about that, like your finances versus their finances. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is you are you supposed to be holding the bills? Is they supposed to hold the bills? Is it equal? Is it back to chivalry? No, you're supposed to pay everything. I'm supposed to, and we done. Uh, Okay, so yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for commenting. Great comments. Great, great comments. So you know what we're talking about next week, but you know it always bleeds into other things. Um, So uh, you know what to do. You need to go to our page, The Wedding Game, Chapter 35. You need to follow the page. You need to comment on the page. In other comments that you leave, we could actually discuss that too. And if you want to be a guest on the show, if you're not talking reckless, uh, we'll let you in. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I actually like it all. Yes. So um, we're going to talk about it next time. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Boy, and man, we please, are gonna, and hopefully next time we meet, we'll know who the president is. All right. So <laughs> have a Oh, <Cool>, Jesus. <laughs> all right. I, I know I, has, I voted, so I'm good. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. bye.